some more stone for our garden landscape and pretty sure this is a match. We brought our bucket, bucket from our garden. I think that looks uh, pretty good. So we're going to take a scoop of this to get us started and a scoop of compost and we will start dressing up the paths in our garden when we get home. And this is the, uh, try to focus in on that. Virginia Brown River Rock, three quarter inch. And again, we're at uh, Visions Landscape and Supply in Monroe, North Carolina. So, mentioned these guys a couple times. Love coming to this place. So, so yeah, Virginia Brown River Rock and a load of compost. And then we're going to get after it. Yep. So, here's the compost we're getting. Um, looks like we're going to get uh, three scoops. This stuff here that looks really good. So we're gonna get about three yards of compost and two yards of the Virginia Brown three quarter. And he's going to get the, the stone right now. Let's see how she loads on the trailer. So this ought to be a pretty full load. What we're gonna do is put uh, put the two loads of stone over the wheel wells here, and then put the three loads of compost up in the front side of the trailer. So hopefully that should, that should ride pretty well. Like somebody wasn't done shopping. Oh, I got a pretty yellow tiger let's, lily. Let's see what you got. And they're all dusty. You said they're trying to move them, so I got a discount. So oh. I got ten dollars off. Nice. That's gonna look good. Yeah, I got the yellow one. I almost got the pink one too when I found out they were on sale. Cool. <laughs> they look pretty. Should we put the uh, tarp on this guy and take a ride? Oh, we have a tarp. Yeah, yeah. that's probably a good idea with that compost. Cool, let's do it. Okay. 
Got the tarp on the trailer, so she's ready to ride, so we're not blowing dirt everywhere. We'll see how she pulls. This may be on our next trip. Yeah, I think we're done shopping for today, but Mama says that's maybe next time. Yep, maybe next time. I think that would maybe look good in front of that corner planter in the back, because there's going to be a big area in the garden right there in that corner. Nice, we'll see. As we mentioned uh, on this video and some previous videos, Visions Landscape Materials Supply in Monroe, North Carolina. Great place. Love these guys. Yeah, they're always super helpful and nice. This is where we got our awesome steps for our cabin. It is. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres. I'm Jason. I'm Kara. Uh, this is week three of, we believe, four of garden makeover at Sunshine Acres. We'll see how far we get today, but I'm pretty sure that it's four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This should be the, the big kind of labor grunt work couple days here. Uh, you actually got the jump on getting some more of the edging in yesterday. Yep. So that's probably, for what we have left right behind us, that's probably halfway done. Oh yeah, it's a little more than halfway. That was almost two hours of surprise work for Jason. Yep, that was nice. I had to go pick up the dump trailer. So as you saw earlier, um, at the beginning of this video, we took the dump trailer to Visions Landscape Supply in Monroe. Mm -hmm. uh, we picked up uh, basically three yards of compost and two yards of- River Rock. River Rock, what was that, Virginia? Mm-hmm, Virginia Brown, three-quarter. Virginia three quarter, Brown, three-quarter inch. Which I think it looks like what we got before, but we didn't go pick up the earlier load, so. Yeah. We don't know. No, it'll blend in, it'll look mm -hmm. nice. Um, so we're gonna get started. Miss Kara's gonna continue to do the edging on the second half of the garden. And I'm just gonna, and it's gonna be a little painstaking, but um, just start grabbing buckets of compost and stone and work on both sides of the edging to try to get everything lined up. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna basically fill in the, the holes here. So a lot, of, a lot of carrying today. And you laid out the uh, edging this time, a few days ahead of time. So that went faster putting it in because it was straighter. So we probably should have done that. Yep, so we got 40 <laughs> so foot length and in rolls are probably about that big. Mm -hmm. And last week we just rolled them out a couple hours or an hour before we started and they were still. Yeah, still pretty wonky. Wanting to do what they want to do. So definitely if you do this yourself, uh, roll those out a couple days in advance. Yeah, that definitely made this side go faster. We had one 70 degree day to this week, so that, that probably helped everything smooth out as well. So we're gonna get after it, get our workout in today. Yeah, I mean, ideally, I think if we could get all this out today, it'd be nice to go get the rest of it today because we need it to work tomorrow. I don't if, know. Well, we'll see how. <laughs> if we can get it all unloaded because that would be nice to have it. Yeah, we'll see how quick we'll we see. can do it. That's a lot. We'll All see. right, come along. So I just kind of follow up. This is what uh, Miss Kara um, got started on yesterday. So she was able to get that whole island in. And then um, she's got one more that will come right through here. and then ultimately tie into this end here. And then she'll put a uh, weed barrier in, in the spots that'll get the, uh, the stone, stone walkway. And then you can see the dump trailer back there. Um, I'm just gonna start loading bucket loads and, and carrying that in the first half of the garden.
All right, so we got uh, dump trailers empty. We got things rough filled in. So we're gonna go back to the supply house and double up our load, get another load for tomorrow. So we're gonna do that and then probably call it a day. So obviously we did not have our microphones on for this clip, but in a nutshell, um, as you saw with the text of the last pictures, um, the supply house was closed, so we did not make uh, a second run uh, to get material. So this is the second day uh, of the weekend, though, working on, on this portion of the garden makeover. So what we did was uh, use materials we already had on the property. We had the um, large river rock, from the cabin left over, so we had some of that left, filled up the planters, um, as well as some of uh, uh, the smaller river rock as well that we used to fill the bottom of those um, sections needing that. So just really kind of getting prepped and ready to go into final phase of this makeover. But I uh, apologize for not having the microphones on, but um, as you can tell, we're getting ready to get after it again. So come along. call that a wrap for part three of garden makeover uh, surprisingly this has been a very enjoyable project I was kind of dreading dreading this one I mean we had it very high in the priority list for 2022 I was not looking forward to it I mean it's been a ton of work but why don't you I, get rolling no I've, I've liked it so oh me too it's gonna be really cool when it's done so yeah next week we'll wrap this guy up um, I think it's kind of get after it on, you know, weather permitting, we'll get after it on Saturday and Sunday should hopefully kind of be an easy day and, um, yeah, should be kind of mirror of this weekend, yep. hard day, Saturday, and just a couple of pretty easy hours of work today. Yeah, it was good. Yep. So yeah, we're excited to wrap this up. Like I said, it's a big, big high priority project for 2022. So hopefully we'll check that box next week. So a little more microphone issues there, but uh, thank you everybody for joining us for this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, please leave a comment, hit the like button, tell your mama, tell your friends, and join us on the next one. Thank you.